Buying a new car brings about a sense of pride and paternal love. You wash it and care for it like a pet. But then, winter comes and the novelty wears off. So, you take your car to a car wash and all of a sudden all your worries are over. But, are they really? We're going to test three types of wash. A car wash, a jet wash and a three-pound hand wash to find out what effect they have on your paintwork. First, we need three identical cars and a car washing expert. Enter Paul Townsend. Now, tell us, what have you done to these bonnets? OK, all three cars have been prepared exactly the same. Right. They've had a two-stage polishing process to get rid of the existing swirls and scratches. They've then been treated with a pre-wax cleaner, which removes any contaminants and oils. And then the world's most expensive car wax, which comes in at £1,300 a pot, has been what? applied. 1,300 quid? Absolutely. So these are absolute perfection. Am I allowed to touch them? I'd rather you didn't. Would you beat me if I did? I could do. First up, the car wash. Thank you. Thanks, right. nice, sir. Let's get started. Thank you. In the car wash. Oh, listen to that. Ooh. That's not nice. So what do you think of this then, Paul? I can't believe it, Tim. That was painful <laughs> to watch. Look so what it's done to your wing mirrors every time. Right. If it's done that to the wing mirrors, you want to have a look at the bonnet. It's all yeah. that work undone in an instant. Right, let's go on the jet wash then. Hey, look, he's ready for us. Here's my mate, Roy. He's going to help clean the car so I can keep my jeans dry. The brush. Is the brush killing the car? Well, yes. Every person here today has left that on the ground, and now right. you're rubbing all that grit into the paintwork. Right, so one car's had the car wash, one's had the jet wash, and this one's having a bit of a treat. This one's having a hand job. They seem to be taking care of the car, and it's nice to have some light relief from doing it myself. They're not using sponges, they're using, like, weird things. No, it looks like chenille wash mitts, which is a good thing, it's not sponges. Uh, a good wash mitt. Tell me about these scratchy, scrapey silicon thingies. It's a weapon of mass destruction for is paint. Is it really? Because you only need one little bit of grip, and it'll be doing hundreds of pounds worth of damage in just an instant. Time to check out the cars. Right. Paul inspects the bonnets in fine detail with UV lights and a microscope. He's looking for the car that's least damaged and will give it a score out of 10. The lowest score wins. Now, let's start with this one, the car wash. So what is the damage to this car? OK, looking at the paint, it yep. looks a little bit dull compared to how we left it this morning. Yep. And also of note is all the watermarks, which right. the other cars don't show. OK, so that's the car wash. Yep. Out of 10, damage done. Five out of ten. Five out of ten. Right, the next one. This is the jet wash. OK. That one is absolutely scratched to hell. And this is what happened by using the broom with the grit on it. Right. Marks out of ten, damage-wise. I'd actually say nine out of ten. And finally, this one, the hand wash. Remember I said about the squeegee blade? If it hadn't have been for that, it right. would have been OK. Out of ten. I'm going to give it a seven out of ten. Seven out of ten for damage? Yeah. Wow. Thank you very much for today. Enlightening stuff. So, seven out of ten for the hand wash, nine out of ten for the jet wash, and amazingly, I can't believe I'm going to say this, the car wash is the winner with five out of ten. Oh, but you didn't tell me about that, did you? There's a couple of bumps here, but they don't... Bumps! That's not a bump! 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 That's not a